everybody hello welcome back to the channel this is Marcos from in three reviews just checking it out again what's up you guys one solid week and I'm throwing out another video huh not too bad uh, I was fucking thinking about it and I do got a lot of shit to unbox and they'll sit there unboxed until I open them up to do a review um, so if I'm not doing any reviews then they just stay in the fucking box and uh, that sucks because I do want to display them uh, some of the stuff that I don't really feel like they need to review they're gonna get opened up and put in but I, I do have a busy week I work fucking 7 in the morning till 5 p.m. I come home I start cracking these open I have not been going to the gym at all for the last three months i just been uh, not lazy but just shit with work and all that kind of stuff anyway who cares about all that right anyway, i did get some stuff in the mail uh i got my sentinel and i got my black mamba starscream those came from ebay the other day they're great I have not opened them up out of the box yet check out this picture uh obsessed check it out man this thing was 24.95 back in the day right that's about what you said you got yours for that's super cool um, 135 dollars now so you got a little gold mine sitting on all your unboxed shit you know that's cool but we're not selling our stuff anyway right <laughs> but uh anyway that black mama star screen looks really good and you guys you know just a special shout out to uh big stan harris He's going through some troubled times right now um he had a loss of a loved one and big stan harris i just want to give a shout out to you and let you know my prayers are with you do this little shot real, real quick Salute to you and your family, sir. I'm sorry for your sorrows, ma'am. I just want to apologize that, you know, I'm doing a review and uh, during your sorrow times, man. I, I, I'm deeply sorry, man. Um, anyways, you guys, uh, Big Stan Harris. What's up, brother? Uh, and then, you know, just to liven it up a little bit, you know, I want to give special shout outs like I always do to some people who have uh, commented some pretty good stuff as well as uh, subscribe. I appreciate that, you guys. I did break through the 600 barrier and I got my 607. Thanks, you guys. I appreciate that. That's fucking awesome. Cheers to you guys. Mm. Got your can tech exceed your limits. You got me, you motherfucker. You exceed that. And I was reading it and I was like, what? Yeah, absolutely. True, huh? Excellent. Got your Slough 1968. Does that look familiar, bro? Huh? That's your thumbnail. That's cool, huh? Your Lucas 5985. Thank you, sir. Ernie Cervantes. Pool, what's up, bro? How you doing, man? Danny Lee, Iron Squirrel, Sig Saza. I hope all is well, sir. I hope everything cleared up for you, man. Obsessed, Dare2727, Ron Van Nierop, Nero, Just In Time Boy, what's up? Ewald Merz, what's cracking, bro? Me, <laughs> how's everything going over there, man? Shapeshifter246, M, as always, M from Transformers and Video Games, Nick Push. Nikon Truth, what's up, man? Pack, what's up, bro? Hey, always good talking to you, man. Uh, recently, yeah, you got a 70 Monte Carlo, you said, is that right? Super cool. Here's some pics of uh, things I used to be into, maybe when I was about your age. I'm 43. I, you look really young in your thumbnail. I'm not sure how old you are, but um, yeah, the um, uh, this little truck right here, and that, that Ducati is not mine, but the uh, CBR, that, that, that's my bike right there. That's an FRI, but that's what I was into back uh, when I was like... 25 26 you know what i'm saying um then i started getting into like dirt bikes real good and 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 then we started getting into boats and that kind of thing uh but man i fucking i've wrenched like you man just fucking taking chevy motors out transmissions rear ends and just fucking putting it into that truck i've done that truck a lot I used to have a 67 camaro that was super sick um had a 400 small block in there badass i, I wish i still had that man but i do not <laughs> so now i'm collecting toys hmm? kind of weird right luis roberto martillo jeremias e new table soul mist 44 this guy and Kato's Collection, last but not least. Hey, Kato's Collection, thanks for checking out my vids. Appreciate that. That's cool you stumbled upon me. I started watching some of your stuff. You got a badass intro. I like that. You guys, if you guys are interested in, in a classy review, we're kind of like from Transformers and video games. Just mellow, cool, a nice vibe, ni nice collection you got, man, and some good ideas. So, you know, that um, you, I watched your podcast with your two other boys, and uh, that was great, a good idea, and I jumped in on that conversation a little bit late. Pac, you were in there, and uh, that, that's cool. That's a cool idea. Anyways, if you guys are interested in checking uh, Kato's collection, good guy to, to watch. Thanks, Kato. Anyway, uh, th uh, thanks for commenting, you guys. I really appreciate that. Fucking awesome, and thanks to the new subscribers. Really good. Um, like, uh, so, like I said, through this last week, I did get the two figures, which was the the Sentinel right here. Now, I won't unbox him tonight, but I will check him out and uh, maybe do a review on him, but I doubt it, but uh, he looks fucking sick in Obsessed video. So I got this guy right here. That was super cool. <clears throat> and like I said, I got this Black Mama Starscream now. You guys check this out. 
When I opened, I, I just got it uh, Thursday, and when I took it out of the eBay box and I opened it up and I opened up this flap right here. Oh, fuck, dude. I, I looked at it, I grinned, and I said, that's fucking sick. And, and uh, I don't know if there's a glare, but check that out. Super cool. I'll get some pictures up of this box right here. And uh, Ron Van Nierop, I will be doing a review on this. Um, stay tuned. Excellent. Badass figure. So after my uh, unboxing video last week with the toy haul that I did, there's so much shit, you guys. I can't believe I got that much stuff. But uh, hey, it's what I do. Anyway, um, I was thinking which one to do a review on first. And the one that kept coming up in my mind to look at was Blitzwing. Um, I think this figure looks so cool. I... I uh, really like that Bumblebee movie. I've seen it four, if not six times. Really great. So I wanted to uh, talk about this and take a look at it with you guys. So let me set up the white backdrop and check them out. See you guys in a second. Mm. Okay, you guys, look at this guy. Look at this box. Oh, real quick. I did get these girls right here. The Studio Series Chicks, Chromia RC and Alita One. Pretty good. They look hella tiny, you guys, but that's pretty good. Check that out, cool, got that. So, looking at Blitzwing. Now, uh, I, I wanted to get into this line, but I didn't. But now that 3A uh, has just this really good design, they're right on the money for the uh, movie aspect of these characters, and I dig it. This guy, look at that. Look at what he's gonna look like. So I'm totally down for that. If I can get movie accuracy, that's perfect. Bumblebee, Bumblebee movie for me was great. So I'm going to take a look at the front of the box. Check it out. All right. And nothing there, nothing there, nothing there. All right. Let's get them opened up. Check them out. And uh, as far as 3A goes, you guys, yeah, definitely I'm getting, I'm probably just going to keep getting them. There's nothing wrong with it. I do have the Bumblebee figure. I'll be pulling him out later for a size comparison. But let's get this guy opened up. Feels really solid. The box feels really good, you guys. Uh, it's a, a good quality box, nothing cheap. That's cool. Let's see if there's any tape around this thing. Nope. Pretty good. Ooh, I can already smell the paint. You guys know that smell of these 3A. If you guys have any 3A stuff, right when you pull it out, it smells like it just got painted. Uh, let's see what is this. Uh, warranty sheet mm, that's pretty cool all right whatever maybe you uh, have to register it looks like some extra screws or fingertips i'd have to look into that got the instruction manual man look good look at that all right excellent <laughs> they made them do the those fucking splits right there that's crazy open up third page watch out for some breakage whatever all right cool and the back now look at that design on the back that's what that's one of the things that just got me for this figure that star scream all over the place right there i love it that's great if they do and i don't know if the um when the movie comes out the second movie if they do it if they're going to be doing um um star scream i know they got sound wave coming out that's pretty cool i'll dig that i i was looking at pre-ordering him but i'll wait till he gets like on the market first and i'll get him what, what do you guys have of the 3a you guys got a, a bunch of that stuff you guys you guys like this line Cool. Check out this display base, man. Everything is individually packaged. That's great. Get this stuff out. Let's see, kind of a light plastic. Let's get a smell in here. Hmm, smells great. And it's got that design. Look at that. Pretty good. Not too bad. <laughs> Perfect. I'll set that right here. And you got the display base stand. I'm sure, it's got a lock somewhere. I'll check all that out. Like that. Perfect. Like that. No paint, just black plastic. I don't think it needs paint. There's a slider right there. Perfect. Set this aside. Ooh, look at that. Man, you guys, it looks like, um, I don't want to drop this, but set that there. Look at that wing. That's a pretty big wing. Pretty good, size of my hand. Cool. Looks good. Set that aside. All right, and then, then you just got your um, other ring, wing. Uh, and some rockets and whatnot right here. I'll set that aside and get the big boy out. All right, so this is a, maybe got some little little poppers in here. I'm trying to be careful. I don't want it to flick all over, flick all over the floor. Cool. You know who um, Blitzwing's face reminds me of when I when I saw him in the movie was uh, Barricade's face. 
um, they're they're really uh, like uh, dementing looking, you know, like really menacing. I like that. It looks really good. So this is what he looks like there. Kind of there's that glare, but man, right away you guys smells like mm, smells good. So let's go with his gun. Check this gun out. All right, look at all that detail in there, you guys. Man, if the camera does it justice. Usually you're like, oh, the camera doesn't justice, but look at all that. You guys can see rivets, and those are raised rivets. You got the, um, he's old, you know, so he's got all this fucking worn shit on him. Looks good. Look at that. Oh, all that detail in there. Look at that in there. This is a well-designed figure. Somebody was thinking about it, and somebody wanted it to look just like the movie. That's fucking fantastic. All right, so I'm sold. Just after, you know, looking at little bits and parts of these, this guy, I'm sold on this line. I, I'm going to go ahead and just keep getting these. There's, there's no reason not to. Um, so the whole non-transforming aspect, does it really bother you guys? Does it, I mean, do you, unless you sit there and play with them, does it bother you too much that they don't transform? Like it, uh, it did for a minute for me because I was like, well, what's the use of having a figure if you can't transform it? I do like transforming some of the figures. Some of them are real difficult, but I, I, I anyway, I, I think this is fine. I, I, I do like it. Look at that hand. The detail, little fucking detail in his hand. I mean, shit, they might as well have given him fingerprints, right? Pop there. Perfect. Absolutely. 3A, good job. Thank you very much for putting your design out. That's great. All right, so I'm going to get this guy out right here. He's just covered in this plastic. Get that bag on. They went ahead and covered up some of the wingtips, those little plastic things that just fell off. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's the boy right there. Look at his face. Oh, man. Look at that. As detailed as his hands. He looks just like the movie. Look at it. Man, that's so cool. He's got the little uh, gas mask things like World War II and shit. That's fucking awesome. All right, so let me get him uh, all dialed in. Let me put all his wings on him and stuff. Check him out. Let me let me fuck with him a little bit and see how good he is. And then we'll get a 360 view of this guy. Perfect. Okay, you guys, so I'm going to remove the camera off of the tripod real quick. I'm going to bring you in close here on all of, his, all of his accessories. Now, check these out. So you got your wings. You got your rocket pack, um, little stabilizers, your missiles. The hands. I, I, now, I did take uh, these hands off because they come with him out of the box. I took those off because I like the displayed hands uh, better. And then you got this guy right here, which is in the movie when he uh, fucks with Bumblebee, I believe. And then you got your gun and that guy right there. And now, what I wanted to show you guys is that he does get a light up feature in his eyes. All right, first, I'm going to show you guys how to peg in the wings. Now, this is all stuff in the instructions, uh, but when I was looking at it, I didn't want to look at the instructions. I was like, oh, I'm going to get it. And I started getting the, the wing itself, and I, I started looking for a port to put it on the, on the back of them. But, it, you know, in reality, I, oh, yeah, you, you put these right here, right into there, and it's a nice, tight fit. And they wiggle it in all the way till it bottoms out. All right, perfect. And then I'm going to put the other one in. Same thing. Just get that little port there, right there. Slide it in right there. Real nice fit. Excellent. And you got the articulate. Look at that. That's fucking so sick. You got back and forward. Um... And these guys go like this. You can tilt them all the way up if you want. Display them out. Tilt them. Excellent. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, so I'm going to set this aside. And now going for his head. We can, we can do this right here by... First, they are the AG-13 batteries. Like that right there. Okay. And what, what I was looking at was... Uh, trying to because in the instructions it says this comes off well i was trying to pull it forward and i, I kind of got worried i was like what the fuck so i really look at instructions it comes straight off so you got to put your thumbnail right under his brow lift it up and it removes the head canopy there and then you got your little led light right here i'm gonna put the batteries in and check that out they're off they're on so it's real faint excuse me real faint but okay right um, I'm okay with it not being a light up eyes because they're they're so small anyway, so I'm okay with that whatever So that all right, let's get his wings on it's kind of fun. It's like doing a model, you know, uh, but the models already built for you <laughs> So on this right here, you just get those two um, Pegs right there, and they're just gonna go in the obvious position right in that square in his back Nice little click that sounded good awesome. All right set him down 
All right, let's get his gun right here. That's one of the steps in the instructions. And these are right here. Got these missiles right here, and they're gonna go on the side pegs right here. Okay, that guy right there. And it's gonna go right there. And it's gonna rest inside of this deal right here. There's two of these on each side, so that's cool. Get this guy and peg it in. All right, cool, cool, set that down. And let's see, in order to install the gun, you're going to take the arm off. Just got that kind of deal going on right there. Set that down. And then you got that same deal going on. Uh, focus. Right there, excellent, we'll get that in. Cool, that looks pretty sick. Excellent. And let's get this on there and see what that looks like. Real tight, but that's good, you know, um, so that's cool. And it looks like that right there, not bad. I do like the hands better. I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm gonna display them with the guns and that deal right there, but I, I'm almost positive I'm gonna put the hands back on them. All right, let's see where the uh, tail fins go. Uh, these guys right here. Okay, so I figured out it's kind of hard in the instructions for these little tail wings right here, is what they're calling them. And they give you this little picture right here and it's kind of difficult to see what body part that is. So after looking around for a little bit, you can see that they go right back here. And so there's a little ball peg right here and it's gonna go right in there. Plug that in. Excuse me. Cool. And then you got your tail wings. Excellent. And then they pivot and tilt, whatever you guys want to do with them to get stuff out of the way when you, you know, lift these up or whatever. Excellent. So I like those. It's just an added little detail that you can plug in and make it feel like you're building this guy, <laughs> you know, because it's already built. But super cool. All right. So that's what it looks like with, you know, the gun, the missiles. Um, this deal right here, I don't even know what you would call that, but uh, that's pretty tight. But I'm going to put his hands back in him. I do like his hands, and that's cool. So I'm, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set him up and go through some articulation points. Hold on. Okay, so head can go all the way around. You can tilt it a little bit side to side. Not bad. There we go right there. Right there. Pretty cool. All right, and then his shoulders now... Read the instructions, you guys, before you guys start fucking moving shit around, because you're supposed to do stuff like that so you can get upward movement and stuff like that. Okay, so that's pretty cool. But this whole panel right here, look at that. This and tilt. I mean, that is fantastic. You can get this thing right here, the bicep right here, pretty cool. And look at the detail in the arm right there. That's great. I'm actually liking this a lot. It feels pretty hefty. I, I'd say it weighs maybe just under a pound. I'd probably look that up and be wrong. Uh, maybe a pound is too heavy, but uh, he feels nice. He feels heavy. He feels quality made. Uh, look at the um, detail on that right there. So that's really good. Um, anyway, so the arms, obviously, mm, can they go at 360? Yes, they can. That's pretty good. And then you got your um, forearm swivel, but this thing, watch out for that. You don't want to do anything weird. And then you got these are just on ball sockets, right? They just go in a little bit. And the fingers, ooh, I just noticed that. They're a little bit soft and touchy. That's cool. And the legs. They, as you see in the um, pictures, they do that. This thing raises up right there, so you can do this. A lot of the stuff I'm just doing, and I'm like, oh shit, that lifts up, that's cool. So you guys won't, I won't, if I don't have any problems, um, you guys won't have any problems, uh, or excuse me, you know what I mean. You guys are probably more well in tuned with, with these figures than I am, but look at that stance. That's a way, but way over 90 degrees. Uh, that's pretty cool. Now, you know, if you guys got a lot more experience than I do, that's terrific. I don't. This is basically my second 3A um, purchase, and I actually like it a lot. Everything feels super good. Look at those little wheels right there. Everything feels really, really good. If you guys are interested in getting something like this, uh, it was only $189, and he, he looks the part. He does the part. He's solid. Fuck, I'm going to set him up and get the camera close and get some pics on his details here. Okay, let's get in here on this dude right here. Check it out. First, let's go to his face. Uh, oh, I super dig that. I mean, that looks like Starscream too. Like, I mean, of course, right? They're gonna be all seekers, uh, but Blitzwing is a tank and he's a jet. And so that's 
pretty neat. Now, if they put this guy in his tank, that'd be that'd be pretty badass too, right? I mean, it's Blitzwing. He's a triple changer, but not in this movie. Uh, coming down, I love all the uh, American military aspects of everything they put on him. You know, like the 201 number there, and uh, all the stuff that intake. Look at that intake. That's tight. All the weathered effects look really good. That gold is a really high metallic gloss. That looks really good. Super cool. The canopy down here. Awesome. He looks like a fucking Transformer should look like. Now, Michael Bay is awesome. He's good. But he kind of gave everything a, a animal characteristic, right? Look at these feet. He got the wheels in the front. That's super cool. Got the U.S. Air Force right there. Awesome. Super nice, but anyway, uh, Michael Bay gave everything kind of like a uh, animal characteristic, you know. And it looks like Bumblebee's gonna steer away from that and just get all the G1 accuracy of at least they look like humanoid beings from the planet Cybertron. You know what I mean? Okay, coming on the side right here. Look at that wing, loving it. Pretty good. Now uh, the um, this is the deluxe scale, the other scale, uh, whatever it is, I forgot, but I'm sure it's gonna be badass, huge. Just huge. Look at all this stuff inside of here. All these mechanical parts. I mean, if you think about how they made this thing, they had to like take and get thousands of pieces of plastic, mold them, paint them, put them all together. Beautiful. There's his boot, his booty right there. These rocket thrusters. Oh man, look at this. These wings. That wingspan is very nice. That is tight. You guys, this guy is a A number one. For me, he's beautiful, very good. I mean, if um, a lot of you guys out there do the customizing, this is pre-customized. I don't know if there's anything else that you could do to him to make him look any better. I, I uh, the only problem is the eyes. Like they're tiny. Look how tiny his eyes are, anyway. But for them to light up, let's see. There we go. That's sick. But see how faint they are. Like you could barely tell. Anyway, super fucking cool. All right, so what I'm gonna do now, well, well, what do you guys think? You like that? I'm digging that. He's got great uh, everything. All right, so right now what I'll do, I'm gonna go ahead and get some size comparisons in here. Give me a second. Mm. Okay, so let's go for some size comparisons here. Now, first, of course, we got to throw in Tarn from Flame Toys just to see where they are in the same line. Now, I would say that Tarn is probably going to be a little bit taller in scale in real life, right? Let me see if I can zoom in real quick right here. There we go. Uh, beautiful figure. Phenomenal figure. Outstanding. I love that Tarn. He's so fucking sick. All the paint. All the color scheme he's perfect he's perfect um this guy's badass flame toys now this is a 500 hundred dollar figure and this is a 189 eighty nine dollar figure and they're pretty close uh, this guy is not bad at all but i think he's gonna be maybe he is taller fuck maybe blitzwing is taller than tarn and there's a size comparison right there with those so that's perfect get him out of the way look at this guy look at him fuck so tight if you guys get your uh get the chance to get flame toys tarn do it do it all right, and then we'll bring in a Bumblebee from the 3A line right here. So that's them together. Um, the, you know, that the Bumblebee, I, I basically took him out of the box. He's cool. Um, I, I like Bumblebee. He's fine. But he's, um, I don't know, he's just not a fucking badass motherfucker. You know what I mean? So I, I, I in auto, you know how it is. I, I really like Decepticons. I like the menacing look of, of this. Look at this fucking guy. And Bumblebee's cool. Uh, great character. Lovable. You know, all that. But check him out. So that's size comparison there. Um, they are both the deluxe scale. Cool. Not bad at all. All right. And uh, cool. Now leaving them there like that, I'm going to go ahead and bring in none other than you can't see me. John Cena. Now, uh, that is probably not the scale, right? But that's John Cena right there, because why not? That's pretty cool. All right. Get him out of the way. Get him out of the way. Now, just for a taller bot, I wanted to bring in MAS02 Megatron. Now, look, that is Megatron right there. So I got to let me pull the camera way back. So if you guys have the MAS02 figures, I mean, this, look at that guy. Fucking sick. So that is way 
out of proportion, but that's how I see Megatron with everything. That guy is fucking sick. I like Megatron a lot. Um, anyway, there is Blitzwing and Megatron. Um, get, let me get Megatron out of the way. All right, you guys, just some end thoughts. Will I continue to get this line? Absolutely. Do I like this figure? Fuck yeah. This guy is badass. I have no problems with him. I messed with him for about 20 minutes. Nothing broke off. Nothing popped off. Nothing was wiggly. Nothing was wobbly, uh, loose, and that kind of thing. Everything held tight. He's going to stand probably just like this into the display cabinet. Uh, I love him. He's great. If you guys are thinking about getting him, it's only 189 bucks. Big Bad Toy Store, TF Source, they're all online right now. Um, you might be able to get them somewhere cheaper. That's absolutely perfect. But 3A, I definitely recommend 3A. I definitely recommend Blitzwing. And I can't wait for the Soundwave to come out and the Optimus Prime to come out. I'm definitely getting those as well. These are great. I like their size. I don't think they need to be any bigger. Perfect. And hey, you guys, thanks for coming in. Thanks for checking me out. Appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys later. Deuces. Somebody asked me, what was I doing? Hey.